Hi, uh, my name is Urvan Parfentev. I am uh, Internet Safety Project Coordinator of uh, Russian National Internet Safety Node, and I am to tell you um, what has been done in Russia to cope with all this, uh, what my colleague Mark has told you right now. Uh, so, um, uh, about five, we five weeks ago, uh, on the 15th of August, uh, Russian National Internet Safety Node has has been established. The work on National Node uh, has begun uh, long ago. Uh, the final decision to establish uh, a complex node was made on our safety conference this year. Uh, it was in the um, end of January, beginning of February, and uh, now we have launched the complex uh, instrument to solve most of uh, the problem mentioned in our report. Uh, National Node is a non-government and non-commercial project that is to become an instrument of partnership between Internet community, government, web users, and, soci and socially responsible Internet business. Idea of cooperation for counteracting Internet threats in the National Node is supported by Russian legislators, law enforcement, Enforcement, internet organizations, providers, and users who are anxious about their safety and in the web, and of course, safety of their children. Uh, national Internet Safety Node in Russia consists of three parts. The first is Awareness Raising Node. Uh, it is supposed to solve most of the problems with getting professional and accessible information about Internet threats, especially if we are talking about content threats. It has information and advices for different categories of users, especially for youth. They are offered not only text, but online education courses and children's resources for education, entertainment and Internet safety. Special use for information is for parents, teachers and such categories as researchers, administrators, legislators, journalists preparing materials on Internet safety, and others. These users can find legislation in safety issues, results of statistical monitorings and surveys, expert interviews, and so on. As we think, it will be a step to build to build in a safe and convenient atmosphere in RUNET. Our uh, national node has just been started, so the information uh, will be added and added, so there, there will be more and more information. Another notable part is a legal content hotline, an instrument for active civil position to protect web environment from aggressive content. Through hotline, users help to clean runet, a Russian segment of internet, from such content as child porn, violence, narco propaganda, privacy invasion, and so on. Hotline is mostly targeted on content threats, but also deals with malicious software and economic threats like phishing. So it's not only the instrument of partnership, but a step to self-regulation of the web. Well-known and qualified experts from Russian Internet sphere take part in checking reported resources, doing a qualified work and taking load of law enforcement organizations. They do, uh, law enforcement does not need any more to waste resources for own signals. Public character of expertise helps to avoid subjectivism and influence from any side, making the process independent. Such partnership, such partnership system is supposed to improve protecting children from aggressive content not only at home, but also at schools, where teachers can detect and report illegal content. For new and complex situations, and for those who has got a, so to say, close contact with the threat, there is a special helpline. Experts take part in consulting users on their problems with internet threats. I must say especially that's not a new version of tech support for soft products. Helpline deals only with threats and treatment of their consequences. In the first period of work, most of the questions on Helpline were legal ones, so dealing with legal problems, and questions about child protection at schools and libraries, which is actual because the new school year has begun. Russian Internet Safety Node is a result of cooperation between several organizations working in different spheres. Coordination organizations, Regional Public Center for, Inter for Internet Technologies, RACIT, and Russian Association for Electronic Communications work on promoting Internet technologies, safe, comfortable, and responsible use of Internet in Russia. Key partners are Human Rights Protecting Movement Supportive Lenia and Public Council of uh, Central Federal District of Russia, who are logically interested in uh, respecting of the right of users to safety and in broad introduction of Internet services with Internet safety. Among the partners are legislators, special committees of State Duma and Council of Federation, these are two chambers of Russian Parliament, law enforcement, 
hosting and content providers, internet organizations, educators, internet businesses, researchers, including psychologists, libraries. So this is the address of uh, our node in the web, www.safernet.ru. And this is how our node looks like in the web. In addition to Russian version, it has a light English version with fewer materials and services for making foreign users acquainted with the situation in Russia. If we take, for example, hotline, it has Russian and English pages. One can choose a category of legal content or, if he isn't sure, just state other. So, for example, if a foreign user finds uh, aggressive content that uh, is in uh, Russian domain zones, he can simply use uh, Russian national node and the signal will go directly to Russia, to Russian experts. Helpline consulting page is uh, specified depending on the kind of a problem, so it helps information to get to right experts. So, for example, uh, the person can choose if he needs consultation on psychological problems, on legal problems, on technical problems, so it goes directly, for example, to the lawyer, to the uh, virus protection specialist, for example, uh, that is Kaspersky Lab, a well-known Russian producer of um, virus protection software. Uh, so it depends on the situation that user has in uh, his or her work. Uh, and uh, here is uh, the illustration of some pages uh, with the text. Uh, so there was the text, text about ethical problems in the internet. And uh, this is the beginning of the list of education resources on internet safety for children. So here you can see um, some uh, internet courses made by Microsoft, uh, by Russian Linux Center Internet, uh, uh, the, the resource supported by the government of the city of Moscow, uh, Deti Mosru. Uh, it has uh, uh, special parts for children, for youth, for, for parents especially. Uh, so. Uh, uh, one can find not only education resources, but the text about anatomy of internet threats, uh, situation with uh, regulation of internet use, so um, most of the issues that uh, are really problematic for Russian web environment. So that's a quick glance uh, at what is being done in Russia for protection from internet threats. Thanks for your attention, and if there are any questions, uh, Mark and uh, I will be ready to answer. Thank you.